Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today we're here with another video and today's video is going to be a guide on how to obtain the Rogues outfit from the Rogues Den minigame in Old School RuneScape. So basically, if you guys are not aware, uh, if you want to go ahead and get to the Rogues Den, you're going to have to get a games necklace or find your way to Birthorp in some fashion. And once you are there, just go ahead and go into this pub, go down the ladder in the southwest corner, and then you will be here. Uh, the minigame will be to the north, but before we go ahead and talk about that, I do want to say that the requirements to be able to get this outfit is 50 agility and 50 thieving now the higher the better but I wouldn't recommend really training without the outfit as the purpose of the outfit and really why it's worth getting is you obtain double the loot from NPCs that you steal from uh, primarily this is going to be helpful for bandits or men of fight thugs that you can pickpocket in the desert and on top of that it's going to be very useful for the arty knight depending on which way you want to go about getting 99 thieving either way this will make you a lot of money by getting this outfit on your way to 99 thieving and I'm sure some of you are wondering whether or not it is actually worth it so so basically, if you plan on getting 99 thieving through Arty Knights, instead of getting 7.6 mil, you will end up getting 15.2 mil overall GP. So obviously a 7.6 mil upgrade since you're getting double the loot. And with Menophyte Thugs and Bandits that you could possibly be pickpocketing from in the desert, you will be upgraded from 5.6 mil profit to 11.2 mil profit on your way to 99 thieving. There are other uses for this outfit, the main one probably being Master Farmer. If you ever plan on doing Master Farmer, I would say that that is definitely worth it because that is where you're going to make any money doing thieving or at least the most money. And so you're obviously going to want to up that. And as for Iron Man, you're going to want to get this outfit no matter what, since you can't really put a time value on GP as an Iron Man. Now, with that said, as far as overall efficiency, if you're a main account, basically there, these should be about four minute trips once you get used to it. And the obtain rate of a piece of rogue outfit is about one in three from my testing and others testing so it seems to be a relatively good number the wiki says one and eight but that is nowhere near true as far as how long this is going to take you it should take you around an hour at a one in three chance per one and four minute trip runs and on top of that you're obviously making yourself either 7.6 mil or 5.6 mil per hour so if you can make more than either of these and it's worth it for you not to get the outfit but considering most people probably can't make six mil i'm going to say it is worth it for practically everyone to get the outfit all right so now as far as how to obtain it and the routes you should be taking basically what you're going to want to do is if you are a main account i guess you can go ahead and take a stamina dose you will be needing some energy potions for this as you do drain your run entirely throughout the maze you cannot equip anything whether that be on your person or in your inventory or have any followers out while you're going through it and to go ahead and start you're going to want to talk to brian or richard and start up a mini game so i want to try some i want to try the maze again and then go ahead and go north and open the doorway Basically, there are a ton of different ways to go about entering through here. Each trap that you go through or each agility obstacle is going to lower your thieving or agility by one point. And at the end, you do have to pickpocket to be able to get a piece of rogue outfit. Now, obviously, the higher thieving, the better chance of getting it, but I'd recommend doing it early. So you're going to want to have as high thieving as possible. It's basically, what we're going to be trying to do is not actually search any traps. We're just going to try to do as many agility obstacles as we can. So to start, what you want to do is just go ahead and run over this. You just can go ahead and run over a lot of obstacles throughout this and that's what allows it to be so decently quick and then run through this once you're here go ahead and go west just run by this pendulum and then right here now this is going to be a three trap method that you're going to want to use a lot just go ahead and run over these three right here to this empty space walk up one space and then walk another three up here all you have to do click on the grill you don't need to worry about these and then run up here to this open space right here from there go diagonal go diagonal again and then walk right up to here right in front of these rocks now once you're here go ahead and just run straight and then run to this ledge now obviously taking as many agility obstacles as we can go ahead and run north here Take the most northern path and you will end up next to some blades. Basically, all you're going to have to do is just click one tick or one step onto the blades. You'll run over them and then just run through these pendulums as well as you don't have to worry about them. Now go ahead and climb the ledge. Now that you're past the ledge, just keep running north and then you will be met with some traps. This is going to be the first one that you will have to dismantle. So go ahead and step on this red tile right here and search the first one. You can only run over three at a time, so this is where we kind of have a problem, as there is four. Now take the most western path and then go north to this passageway. Once here, run over this blade as well. And from there, continue north. Now that you're here, go ahead and enter the next passageway to the north. 
and then there will be a trap right here. Just go ahead and run right through it and come over here. Now, once you're at the beginning of this little pathway, uh, you're going to want to dodge all these spikes in the wall. So you can do that just by stepping down here and then clicking right in between these two and then click right here. Now, with that said, you'll miss all of these if you just go ahead and click on the passageway. From there, open the grill, run south enough to where you won't be hit by this, and then click on the ledge. Once you have a straight path, you should be fine. Just go ahead and pass on over, and then we will continue more to the east. This is another four trap, so you're going to go ahead and have to dismantle the first one. Go ahead and search the wall. Now from there, click on this red spot over here. You can click anywhere over here, but this is going to be the trap we'll be going to. Run over this blade. And from here, you will be in a room with tiles. There will be four tiles. You always have to pick the one in the most southeast. This will be the tile that you'll want to take. The other three won't work. Now open this door. You'll have to place the tile, so go ahead and click on it. Now from there, open this grill. Now once you open this grill, you'll be in a maze. Go ahead and take the southern door. Now take the eastern one. Now go northeast, and then southeast, and then all the way to the south, and you should, uh, you'll should you be almost home free. Now take the northern door in this room, then the western one, and then the southern one, and then you're free. Now go ahead and just run. You don't have any traps to worry about for a little bit, up until we hit another... Well, I guess it isn't a four trap one. It is uh, one that looks like it, however, quite deceiving. You can walk right up to it and then you'll be fine. So what you're going to want to do is click on the second red tile in this line of three. And from there, just run past three, these three traps. Now, after that, go ahead and open the next grill. Don't worry about any traps in this room as they aren't going to hit you since there's only three. Right here, you're going to want to take one step forward, then run over these three as well. Uh, make sure to take one step forward all the time, because if you run from here, that acts as if that's a fourth trap, so you are going to get hit by that. Now, run, go ahead and run past the pendulum, and continue running until you are at this little break. Now, take the western path, and this is going to be one that you're going to have to kind of keep an eye out for. Go ahead and step on these stairs right here. As you can see, there's a trap here and a trap here. You're going to want to run three steps. You're going to want to run four steps to right here and then another four to cross over these two as well. Now that you're free, just continue on a northern path and you will be at pretty much the same exact thing. You're going to want to go ahead and run over these three and then these three as well. Now go ahead and just click your mini map over here and we will find ourselves some flash powder. You're going to want to go ahead and throw this at one of the guards so that you don't get caught. If you get caught, you're going to get kicked out and you're almost near the end. So that's going to be pretty depressing. Once you have the flash powder, just run and use it on a guard. Don't really have to worry as long as you're using it that you'll get caught. So you should be fine. Just try to make it through decently quick before they end up being able to capture you again. Now from there, just run through the final two pendulums. And after that, you'll be at the final wall that you can go ahead and crack. Now, this is ultimately where you could get a piece of Rogue's outfit, or you might not. Now, go ahead and try out your luck personally. Uh, I got lucky, but unlucky. I didn't fail the trap, but I did get a Rogue kit. Now, these are one of the two things you can get. Rogue kit, not as exciting as it sounds. You can uh, pretty much get a tool, which is pretty much useless. Uh, if not, the other thing you can get is a Rogue's equipment crate. And from there, you can go ahead and pick out your five options of which one you want. Obviously, all you're going to want to do is get one piece of each of the outfit, and you should be good to go and you'll be on your merry way with thieving so hopefully you guys enjoyed the guide if you guys did make sure to leave a like if there's anything you want to tell me go ahead and leave it in the comment down below if you guys enjoy my content make sure you subscribe to my channel but with that said hopefully you guys have a wonderful day and peace